All right, everybody, Dylan here, back again for Wild Skills. Uh, hopefully all you guys enjoyed the first part of our first Wild Skills for the year. We're touching on posture and stability from the upper body in part one. Part two, we're actually gonna focus on the lower portion of our body, which generally focuses on our glutes and our hip alignment. So why is this important? Uh, like we touched on in part one, we are, our society is, we're sitting all the time. So we have to be able to counteract all of the sitting that we do, because what happens whenever we sit, our body will actually adapt to that position because we're in it for so long. So our hamstrings will begin to lengthen, causing slack. Our hip flexors are now going to shorten because they're always in this hinged, flexed position, right? So if we, if we can go ahead and focus on how to correct those, ex those um, problems in our body through exercises and mobility stretching, we can counteract that problem that we have. Okay, so we're gonna focus on, in part two, lower body, like I said, glute deactivation is what happens whenever we sit. So you have motor units that are um, in your body that actually activate the muscles, and whenever we sit for so long, like Andy said in the 40-year-old virgin, if you don't use it, you lose it. It really is the truth. So from all the sitting, our, our glutes will actually totally shut off. So we have to focus on turning them back on. So um, like I said, the overstretched hamstrings, tight hip flexors, glute deactivation is our biggest problem here. So we have, to, we have to change the way we think and the way we train in order to be able to perform, be able to last longer in the back country. So we have to lengthen the front side and strengthen the back side. And we can do this by re-recruiting our motor units in our glutes. And all it, all, it's just gonna take some proactive uh, exercises and training so that we can get back to a foundation that we can go ahead and build on in the, in the future. Um, so we can do these uh, exercises and we're gonna show you some of them. Uh, I, I put Jesse through a couple corrective exercises and mobility movements that are gonna help us fix this problem. So hopefully you guys enjoy these corrective exercises. Moving forward here, we're gonna go ahead and look for your guys' feedback. So if you have anything that you would like us to do or you would like us to touch on, don't be afraid to send us, uh, send us an email or shoot us a message and we would love to touch on those topics. Okay guys, the next one we have is going to be a hamstring stretch. So what I'm gonna have Jesse do is he's gonna put, a, put his foot up against something. It can be the wall. Um, you can place it on a step, it doesn't really matter. What we're trying to do though is get into this uh, dorsi flexion position, okay, with the toes to the shin. And he's going to, with his hips here, he's gonna have a little duck butt, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna imagine your hips tilting this way, okay? You're gonna stick the butt out, he's gonna bring his chest down to the floor. We're lengthening the hamstring, okay, the lower glute, all the way down to the lower portion of the hamstring. So you'll feel this, we'll stand tall, Okay, you'll hold that for about 15 seconds, do about three sets. Um, we're just retraining these hamstrings to lengthen out. All right, next one guys, bird dog. So, starting position here. We wanna make sure that our wrists are directly under our shoulders and our knees are directly under our hips, okay? So, one thing we wanna do, like we say in all these movements, is make sure we're staying nice and packed, okay? With as little movement and deviations through the movement as possible. So what Jesse's gonna do is he's going to reach as far as he can with his right arm and reach as far as he can with his left leg, furthest point, trying to touch the end of the rooms here, okay? And we're trying not to lose integrity in the lower spine, all right? So he's gonna go ahead and bring it back to start position and then he's gonna do the opposite side. So what we're doing, guys, is we're training the posterior chain, all right? It often gets neglected in all of our lives because what we're doing is we're sitting, like I said, 15 hours a day. So here, go ahead, Jesse, let's do one more each. He's hitting his rear delts, he's activating his glutes, okay, and he's activating his lumbar spine as well. One more on the other side here. Awesome, good job. Okay guys, next one here is what uh, I like to call a 90-90 hip flexor stretch. All right, so we mentioned before uh, what happens to your hip flexors from all the sitting is uh, adaptive shortening. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to lengthen them back up, all right, because what happens when you have short hip flexors begins to tilt 
your uh, pelvis okay, and into, into an anterior pelvic tilt, putting a lot of pressure in the low spine. Okay, So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Jesse walk his foot out maybe just a little bit more here. He's going to focus, the first thing he's going to do is draw his belly button in, okay, tucking his hips, and he's going to push forward into a hip flexor stretch. So you see here, Jesse is overextending. He's creating too much curvature here in his low spine. So what I want him to do is back out of it. Okay, I want you to keep your chest with you as you push forward, okay? There we go. So now we're lengthening from the knee all the way up to the hip, okay? We're lengthening the quad, lengthening the hip flexors, counteracting all the sitting that we're doing so we can be sure that we're lengthening the front and then we'll counter, or we'll also uh, complement this with some strengthening in the backside so we can balance out that pelvic tilt. Okay guys, next one we're gonna do is we're still focusing on turning those glutes back on. Um, what happens when we have weak glutes is your hamstrings, okay, will actually begin to overcompensate and you'll, you won't even be recruiting the muscles from the glutes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're, this is actually a test to see if your glutes are working, um, but you can also use it to strengthen, okay? So the starting position, just as you go all the way down, okay, his feet are gonna be, um, that's perfect distance right there, about, about arm lengths away, maybe a little further, okay? And his arms are gonna be to his side, and the first thing we want to do, you can go ahead and place your palms on the floor, Jesse, good. And what we're going to do, again, just like all the other movements, make sure we are tucking the belly button to the spine, okay? And we're going to keep it tucked as we perform this movement, okay? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to push through the heels, we're going to drive the hips up to the ceiling, okay? And we're actually trying to get our knees, hips, and shoulders in a straight line, okay? If you hold this position and you feel your hamstrings, okay, which are located on the back side of your leg, if you feel those begin to cramp, that's because you're actually recruiting too much hamstring um, over glutes, okay? So you'll be able to know. Okay, so we're gonna bring it back down. Now let's go ahead and perform a couple more, Jesse. Just up and down, squeeze the glutes, okay? Mind-body connection here. Down, bring it back up. Perfect, so what this is gonna do, it's gonna help pull our uh, hip tilt back into a uh, efficient, healthy posture. Okay guys, the next one here, we're still focusing on that upper thoracic spine, okay? So Jesse's gonna place uh, kind of the middle, just above the middle of your back, which is your thoracic spine area. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and put his hands on the back of his head, hug his head here, and all he's gonna do is rotate over that foam roll. You may get a couple pops in the upper back, don't be afraid, okay, unless they're painful, stop. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and work over a few different times here, and you're gonna feel this extension through the lats, okay, and then up through that upper back here. This is important because we're retraining, like I said, that thoracic spine to move properly. Get stuck in this bad posture position. Doing this is gonna improve that. Okay guys, so the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and shift down to the lower body. Um, we're working on activating our glutes, okay? So when we sit, what happens is your motor units actually totally get, like you stop recruiting, okay? So they turn off. So what we're trying to do is we're recruiting motor units so we can turn our glutes back on. Okay, so our first one we're gonna do, just to go ahead and slide to your left just a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and go standing tall. We're gonna go hands on the hips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive your outside ankle bone to the far wall, and we're gonna do a stiff leg and lateral walk. Okay, we're gonna go three steps this way. Good, go ahead and step with it, Jesse. Good, and then replace, and then we'll go one more. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in the other direction with the other glutes, okay? All this is doing, guys, is we're just activating the back side, all right? But this is a good thing to do before you start working out, if you're training legs, okay? Or if you're just at home watching TV, um, you can grab these bands on Amazon for like two bucks, okay? Um, the next one we're gonna do, Jesse, is actually, I'm gonna have you go ahead and get into a half squat, kind of athletic position, okay? And what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna have him step back at a 45 degree angle, okay? His shoulder level is gonna stay the same, his hip level is gonna stay the same, the only thing activating is his glute. Okay, so he's gonna step back and do about 10 reps on each side. I'll only have him do a few here, okay? His hips are staying in the same spot, nothing's deviating. Okay, he's gonna go back about 45 degree angle, good. We're just activating the glutes, guys. The gluteus medius gets totally neglected. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that back on, okay? Awesome, let's do one more. Okay, next thing, All right? We're gonna take the band up to the knees, Jesse. Okay, I like to call these Elvis Presleys. Okay, I don't know if you guys have seen some uh, videos of Elvis Presleys, the, the king. But anyways, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and drop down to that half squat position again. Okay, hands on the hips. He's gonna bring his knees in. 
okay? And then he's gonna drive them out, okay? And then back in, and then drive them out, okay? Again, this is training the gluteus medius, back here, those hip abductors, okay? So we can round out our hip joints, uh, make them func function the way that they should. Okay, perfect. So again, that's another one that you can do for about 20 reps. Uh, you can go ahead and do single at a time, or you can do them both, okay? Totally up to you. The next thing we're gonna do is what we call a, I call it a cliff walk, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and stand, let's go ahead and slide down just a little bit, Jesse. Okay, um, first I'll show you guys from the frontal view, and then I'll go ahead and go lateral. So let's go ahead and face the camera, Jesse. Um, hip shoulder width, or I'm sorry, feet shoulder width, okay? We're gonna squat, uh, maybe a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay? All you're gonna do is you're gonna step with the lead foot, okay? And then we're gonna replace baby step with the back one. You're gonna pull yourself into at least a half squat. Let's go down a little further, a little, a little more athletic stance there. Good, let's bring the eye gaze up, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna step with our right foot, okay? Go ahead, Jesse. And then we're gonna baby replace step with that back one. We're keeping our knees wide the whole time. So we're actually activating the glutes throughout this whole movement, okay? You go about 10 steps to the right, okay? For now, we're just gonna do five because we only have so much room on the camera. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and bring it back. Perfect. We don't even need to show the lateral view, that was perfect, good job. Okay guys, that is some glute activation um, with band work. We're gonna go ahead and touch on that a little more in the future, but those are your basic ones to help you guys turn on your glutes. Our infomercial will be coming out shortly. <laughs>